Assalamu alaikum. What's up, everyone? So family. Family is the toughest test we have to go through as Muslims. And you might think, wait, why is family the toughest test? Shouldn't there be just temptations or other things that go on in life? But no, the reason as to why is that family is what's closest to you. Family is always there. Family is the people you grew up with, your siblings, your mom, dad. And these people should be your peace, your quiet. But realistically, we all know that ain't true. They're the ones who make life hectic, energetic. You argue with your siblings. You'll get frustrated with your mom, your dad, all these different things. But again, it's your families know your ins and outs, your quirks. And that's why they're the toughest test. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, always talked about how family should be cherished. There is such a high emphasis on family. For example, I know every Arab kid knows this, where their mom is like, oh, the Quran and everything says, ummak, 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 right? Your mother, your mother, your mother. And it's like, ah, yes, we get it. But now you're using it against me to make sure I can't get mad at you. But again, it's that sense of patience, respect that your family have to go through. They're going to frustrate you. They're going to annoy you. That's natural. But understand that it's a journey. You have to learn from these life lessons. And for me personally, I've always learned and noticed like, wait a minute, when I'm patient with my family, I'm patient with what's going on around me. This is what I know I'm doing better in life when I'm successful, when I'm calmer, when I understand this is a thing that needs to get done. A big reason as to why family is the biggest test is that we don't get to choose our family. You're just born into the family you're in. And because you don't choose the family, they're the biggest test because of that. You don't choose who you're with. You can choose your husband or your wife. You can choose your friends, not your family. And that's the really hard part. And again, in doing so, it makes you realize that your family is going to put you under pressure. They're going to make you so infuriated. But you're gonna beat this test. You're gonna get by. How? You're gonna get by this by again, balancing these rights, responsibilities. Understanding that in Islam, it teaches you, yo, you gotta step up for your family. You gotta do the right thing. And with family, you gotta be the most loyal. You are loyal to your family through thick and thin, right? You are doing things for them because Allah said so. You make sure when you're doing these things, good deeds for your family, it's for Allah. And Allah has prescribed it to be good to your family. So you do it. People always say, oh, don't get into business with family. And who would you get into business with? It should be family. Right? It's always about family. Family's gonna push your patience, it's gonna make you how to be more tolerant of issues, problems. You get to really see people for their inner quirks, their habits, right? But you have to love them regardless. You have to love them for all their little quirks and differential things that happen and they do. And again, with family, you have to maintain good character. They have to teach you that. Even when it comes to like elders, right? So again, I play soccer all the time with people who again are Turkish, Arab, all different types of races, cultures, and all of them have this energy where they argue. They say this, say that when you're playing. And I want to scream, shout, get mad at them. But then you have to remember, okay, they're my elder. I can't just say anything. And hey, I've made mistakes too. I'm not going to sit here and say I'm perfect. But you know, like, I feel guilty. I feel bad about that. But it's because you have to have that sense of respect for your elders, even though it can be playing a game together, even though you can be competing against one another. But again, having that patience, that tolerance for them, that's the really hard part. Even when it comes down to supporting your family, you have a financial responsibility over your family. You have to take care of them. There's so many different responsibilities you have to have. If you have a wife, a family, a kids, you have to be able to support them. You have a mother, a father, they're elderly. You have to make sure you're taking care of them. You're there for them. You're not putting them in a home. No, you're taking care of them. That's really important in our society, in our culture. And Islamically, it's really important to make sure you're able to take care of them the way they took care of you when you were young. Obviously, you're also going to deal with sibling rivalry. That's normal. You're going to be beefing with your siblings. That's good. You're going to be able to go head to head, butt heads, right? Iron sharp and iron, right? You're only going to make each other better. Everyone knows how you can beef with your sister, beef with your brother, get mad at each other. It happens. But again, understand there's a sense of character and respect that you still have to have, even though you butt heads. There needs to be a sense of value and respect. And everybody knows this feeling has a sibling is if somebody messes with your younger sibling, messes with your sister, messes with your brother, you're rioting. You are fighting everyone and anything to support them and be there for them. But that's how it is. You support each other like no other. It's a different connection. It's a different experience. But that's why they're the biggest blessing, but also one of the biggest tests. Inshallah, everyone has to experience this, but raising righteous children, like, wow, that could, must be insane. And to raise a righteous child is so such an intense blessing and such a test to be able to raise a righteous child so that after you go away and you pass, your children are still praying for you and praying and wishing you heaven and wishing you good deeds and wishing good things for you and sustenance in the hereafter. That's incredible. And all of this shows you just unity. Family is about unity, togetherness. And that is what the religion of Islam constantly promotes, congregating together. It's always been a sense of unity. And again, that is why family is the toughest test. Let me know if you guys have any really funny family stories that, again, like are entertaining where you're like, yo, my family is headed neck and neck, but we do this for each other. We rock for each other. And hey, if 
family is your toughest test, let me know what you guys think about the video. If I missed anything, please feel free to add in the comments. Be sure to like, subscribe, and again, leave those comments down below because it helps you to the algorithm. I really do appreciate you guys tuning in, and I'll see you guys next Friday, inshallah.